Hi, this is Rhett with Miller's RV, standing in front of a brand new 2023 Winnebago Vista uh, 29 uh, NP, and NP is National Parks Foundation, and I'm gonna do a little walk around on this for y'all today. All right, before we get started on the walk around uh, on this Winnebago Vista, I want to remind y'all about our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you hit the notifications bell, subscribe. Uh, if you've got a question, we have a FAQ segment that we do on there, and we'll try to get to your questions as fast as we can. Now I'm gonna start on the outside of this coach. All right, we're here on the outside of the 2023 Winnebago Vista 29, um, and a lot of advantages to this coach is it's a short class A. Being only 29 foot, it really drives more like a class C, so for those beginners or people that are a little bit nervous about driving a long coach, this coach handles extremely well. Now this is on the new Ford chassis, which has got all of the uh, chassis upgrades, so you don't get the buffeting like you used to get, get out of the uh, Class A coaches. Now another feature that they put on for this year is electronic stability control, which makes a big difference on how this coach handles. Come by, get a test drive with one of the guys, and I promise you'll like the way this thing rides. Now some of my favorite features here on the outside Obviously, we're going to talk about the uh, outside uh, entertaining area. We've got a big flat screen behind me that is tied to the inside uh, cable system. And of course, if you do satellite, you can watch TV out here or TV inside. Now, you've got sink, uh, refrigerator, and storage out here where you can do some entertaining. And this coach has got a few unique features on it. Being a National Parks Foundation, it's got some upgraded tires and wheels on it. It's got a little bit nicer paint job with full body paint. And one of the things, you know, everybody wants to bring pets, is they've actually got a pet pal uh, installed on this coach to where you can actually tie your pets off. Now, another feature that you can use that for, if you've got an expensive Yeti ice chest or if you've got some bicycles or something out here expensive, you can actually chain lock to that piece and it's mounted directly to the frame. Now we're gonna go inside this coach. All right, now we're on the uh, interior of the 2023 Vista. Uh, and there again, I'm gonna start in the driving area and kind of work our way back and just touch on some of the major features uh, that I, I really like in this coach. Uh, now this particular one, we did do the ultra leather and we went a little bit darker on the uh, color as far as the leather and a little bit darker on the flooring, but we went with a real light pattern to give a good contrast on the walls. Uh, this coach, uh, probably best looking interior I've seen from Winnebago in the last couple of years. Uh, and I think this coach is gonna do very well for us. But you'll notice that I've got the passenger seat turned around facing the back area. Uh, driver's seat will also swivel in this coach. This does have the camera system built in for when you're driving. So you do have the backup camera and you've also got the side cameras. And of course that'll eliminate all your blind spots and make this a lot easier unit to drive. Now we get asked a lot, what's the major difference between class A and class C? The class A obviously is on a little bit bigger chassis and it's a little bit taller. It's not necessarily any wider or any bigger, just taller, but it does give you the automatic stabilizing jacks uh, will be standard on these coaches and you do get a good bit more basement storage on the outside. Also being a little bit taller, the cabinets inside have a little, bull, little bit more height and a little bit more depth to them. So if you are bringing a lot of stuff, which all of us do, uh, the Class A will be a little bit easier as far as storage goes. Now, we're gonna switch positions here and, and move back in this coach. Now, our, our rep hasn't come in yet on this coach. It, it got here before he did, so we've done absolutely no training on this. So I did find a little feature by accident here just a few minutes ago when I was walking through it because this unit did just get here, but it is equipped with the boob dinette, which will drop down and give you a second sleeping position. And then you've also got the drop down bump across the uh, top of the coach, which is electronic, which I'll show you on the pad here in just a minute. Now we did opt with the theater seating instead of going with the sleeper sofa because we went with the drop down bump. Now the theater seating is nice because it's directly across from the TV and it's nice to stretch your legs out and be facing directly at the TV instead of having to turn your neck sideways. But the unique feature on this dinette, you got two clips here that you're gonna push on either side and this thing will open up and actually start operating as what I would call a standing desk. Uh, and it's also got storage built uh, underneath it. So there again, some stuff that you're not gonna use very often or if you wanna keep out of view, you can actually hide this up underneath there. Most people aren't gonna know that it's there. Now. Just push the two buttons back down, lock that back in position, and you're back to your regular dinette. Now you do have seat belts built in on both of these here. You've got one uh, rear facing, two forward facing on this. So you could put seven people in here without any problem uh, and still be legal as far as the seat belts go. Now moving back towards the kitchen area, you'll notice that we've got the solid surface countertops, stainless steel sink uh, without the lip built in, single lever pull out spray faucet, and then of course three burner cooktop and then we've got the oven, 
But the thing about this oven is it does have a glass built into it where you can actually see into it just like you do at your house. Now the other thing for people that have feet that are way too big for their body like me, you do have the toe kicker plates at the bottom where they recess a little hole where you can get closer to it and not have to stand so far back on this coach. Here again, kind of gives you more of a home feel instead of being in an RV. Now we're in the hallway of this coach and I wanted to show you the main control panel because this is something that's just a little bit different this year that they went to. Right now you'll notice that I'm on the home screen here and that's going to show your uh, tanks and instead of having one third, two third or one quarter and half and all that, it actually has an accurate percentage of how full that tank is. And there again, that's just going to give you a, a true accurate reading on what you've got left in that tank. And especially if you're primitive camping, that's going to be very important to you. Now, generator start, all you do is just push the generator button uh, and go ahead and tell you the charge on the batteries. And you can also turn a generator on and off. And this does have an auto gen feature built into it, which basically means you can hit that button. And if your batteries get to a certain level as far as being discharged, it will crank the generator for you and refresh your batteries. Now, temperature control here. I think everybody knows how to do the air conditioners and all of that. But I wanted to go to a, uh, another unique feature on this. Um, they've got a resource where you go to an information tab here and you can actually scan the QR code on here with your uh, picture feature on your phone. And you can actually do a lot of this from your phone and it'll give you additional information on this code that you may not know. Now, everybody forgets every now and then, but this is <laughs> built in memory for you right here. Now there again, moving a little bit further back in this coach, we do have a king bed uh, that we opted on this coach instead of the queen. So you do have a little bit more sleeping area back here. We do have the uh, second flat screen TV back here. And of course the bathroom area, we'll go ahead and open this door right here. All right, I'm in the bathroom area of the Vista here. Uh, and I wanted to show you the shower area on this. You do have the uh, glass door package all the way around on this. And it is a full walk-in shower. And believe it or not, there's probably enough room in there for two. Uh, if you're bathing kids, you can probably get two or three small children in there. Uh, now, another feature in here, just like in the kitchen, is you do have single lever faucet instead of having the double, uh, which is just a little bit nicer uh, and a little bit less maintenance because you don't have the two handles to deal with. Now, foot flush toilet, and it does have the sprayer built into this. And then directly behind us, the last thing I want to talk about in this coach is the refrigerator. Now, this coach is equipped with a 12-volt compressor-driven refrigerator, which means you don't have to run a generator going down the road to operate this. And it, because it's compression driven, it's not like the old style refrigerators where it takes six to eight hours to get cold. This unit will get cold in 45 minutes and be ready for you. So that's one of the nice new features that we're starting to see in the last couple of years on these coaches. Now, mm -hmm. this coach just came in. I was telling you all it's a 2023. It's got an MSRP of $231,703. But we do have it on sale right now on our website at $184,998. Our website is millersrv.com. Come down here and come see uh, salespeople, either Cam or David, and let's take this thing for a test drive. And remember, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer. And if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the journey.